Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, July the 6th, it's got seven cracking races on ITV on Saturday. Three from Haydock, where the ground's currently perfect, good ground. Four from Sandown, where it's on the faster side. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap. This goes in the 2.25 at Sandown. A handicap over seven furlongs, and I think this is tailor-made for Holloway Boy at around 6-1 to one for the Carl Burkyard. Now, Holloway Boy has been extremely difficult to place. He was a shock winner on his debut at a three-figure price at Royal Ascot and hasn't managed to win since, but he's now got himself reasonably handicapped, and I thought, he ran an absolute screamer last time out at Royal Ascot when fifth in the Royal Hunt Cup. He was one of the eye catchers to take from that meeting. I thought he looked an unlucky loser and he's definitely well ahead of this mark. This track should be absolutely ideal. They tend to get racing a long way out at Sandown and the complexion can often change when they hit the final hill and Holloway Boy at this seven furlong trip would be a thorough stayer. Sam James is booked. Hopefully he can weave his way through late at around the six to one mark. Our betting expert value angle selection goes in the 240 at Haydock. It's the Group 2 Lancashire Oaks. And I like the claims here of Lady Boba from the Rafe Beckett yard. Now, Beckett's had a fantastic season, maintaining a pretty good strike rate throughout. And Lady Boba looked one of the more interesting three-year-olds to follow in this Phillies and Mares division this season. And she confirmed that she was very well backed over this course and distance on her reappearance and looked an unlucky loser under an ill-judged ride from Ross Ryan. Things that don't happen too often. She really should have won. She was cruising all over them, didn't see any daylight and then had to be switched out before flying home. I think she reverse the form with the winner that day there's loads more to come from her i think she'll like this decent ground again i think four to one is more than fair the remaining five races on itv on saturday we'll spin through them in time order starting with the 150 at sandown a group three over five furlongs guilt edged opportunity for apollo one at a big price to run really well now he's one of those horses uh, he's been a terrific advert for the Peter Charalambos yard. They've only got a handful of horses, but he gives his running every time, often from very high marks in tough sprint handicaps on a Saturday. But he's into Group 3 company here, and you're getting a big price around 16 to 1 for an informed sprinter. I'm hopeful he'll ping out the stalls under Neil Callan and make all the running, bagging the far rail, which can be an advantage on fast ground at Sandown. Not always, not in recent times, but certainly in the past. And I wouldn't be surprised this afternoon if it was an advantage after a very dry couple of months in the Isha area. On to the 205 at Haydock, a one mile six furlong handicap. Well, Dramatic Star looks very well treated here on handicap debut for William Haggis. Sent this one up to Hamilton to lose his maiden tag, which is often a ploy of the Haggis Yard and Samark Prescott uses it as well. It tends to help with their opening handicap mark because the form's usually underestimated by the official assessor and I think that's definitely the case with Dramatic Star who will keep on improving as stamina is drawn out further. Mark Hand's been booked, should take plenty of beating. Back to Sandown for the three o'clock, a one mile listed contest. Well, Clove Hitch was so impressive at Newbury last time out when very heavily supported, quickening clear from a really competitive field. I think she's one to stick with now up to this sort of class with the stiffer uphill finish shorter suit and Ryan Moore an eye-catching booking. I think she's very fair priced at around for four to one mark. Back to Haydock for the 315, one of those a handicaps the old Newton Cup over one mile four. It's got a long history and I like Chillingham here from the excellent Ed Bethel Yard. Now this one has run three times this season as has improved gradually on each occasion. I suspect this valuable Saturday prize has long been the target for his excellent connections and Chillingham should go really close with any luck in running. And finally the day's feature at 3.30. Eight runners for the Coral Eclipse. A group one over one mile two. A fantastic race perhaps a little bit lopsided this year every each way thief in the country will be looking to have a bet with the dead eight runners but I do think from a selection point of view City of Troy should be extremely hard to beat I was one of the doubters before the derby I was amazed how badly he ran in the 2000 guineas but we always underestimate how a genius Aidan O'Brien was is and he had him right back to his best to win the Epsom derby in very impressive style in what was a messy race with loose horses running about more sure to be very positive I'm not worried about the drop back to one mile two at all I suspect he'd have City of Troy in first First, second or third throughout, kick for home a long way out and I'll be very surprised if he doesn't win by quite a wide margin. Best of luck with all seven ITV races on Saturday betting experts.